The following is a presentation of TFNN. The P Power Trading Hour with your host, David White. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. Now, David White. And welcome, everybody, to another exciting edition of the Power Trading Hour with me, your humble, lovable, and squeezably soft host. Once more, do we go into the breach, dear friends. The following takes place between 2 p.m. and 3 p.m. So what do we have going on today? We're up a tiny bit, and volume is fairly light. Dow's off eight, uh, S&P's up four, NASDAQ's up 44, Russell's up eight. Um, what do we have for volume here? I looked at it just a minute ago. 3.6 billion shares. We had like 6.1 billion shares yesterday. Uh, just a few thousand shares above what Friday's volume is. This will probably track into about what uh, Friday's is. Uh, so tomorrow, FOMC meeting, and uh, time to hurry up and wait on that. We'll see what the close does today. Not uncommon to see the market pull back a, just a little bit into FOMC meetings, um, just the light volume and all that. Of course, if you're making a new high today, you're probably going to be making it, unless you uh, were a handful of stocks, made it on lighter volume. Um, we'll look at Tesla today and see what it's telling us. Uh, news out after uh, the short squeeze earlier in the day, uh, but uh, I'll tell you why I probably won't be shorting it. Uh, what else do we have going on out here? That's kind of it. Kind of a hurry up and wait. Um, a lot of uh, manipulation in the market. We'll talk about that. Handful of other things going on. But uh, why don't we do this? Why don't we... Uh, why don't we talk about uh, history, and we'll get into some charts. Then it's all just a little bit of history repeating. On this day in 1987, probably one of the most important speeches of that century. And now, now the Soviets themselves may in a limited way be coming to understand the importance of freedom. We hear much from Moscow about a new policy of reform and openness. Some political prisoners have been released. Certain foreign news broadcasts are no longer being jammed. Some economic enterprises have been permitted to operate with greater freedom from state control. Are these the beginnings of profound changes in the Soviet state? Or are they token gestures intended to raise false hopes in the West or to strengthen the Soviet system without changing it. We welcome change and openness, for we believe that freedom and security go together, that the advance of human liberty, the advance of human liberty can only strengthen the cause of world peace. There is one sign the Soviets can make that would be unmistakable that would advance dramatically the cause of freedom and peace. General Secretary Gorbachev, if you seek peace, if you seek prosperity for the Soviet Union and Eastern Europe, if you seek liberalization, come here to this gate. Mr. Gorbachev, open this gate. <laughs> Mr. Gorbachev, tear down this wall. This seemed uh, rather uh, appropriate uh, with what's in the uh, headlines today. You know what? Wasn't any different then than it is now, and that is that uh, uh, a lot of people just... Oh, you can't say that. You can't do that. 
I tell you what, uh, a lot of people, I guess in the State Department, in that kind of business, eh, the best thing they can do is just make sure nothing happens. I think that's kind of it. But uh, a lot of bedwetters about uh, this issue. Just always wondered why. But uh, who knows? Let's go and start talking about charts today and uh, what we're looking at them. Um, Interesting, uh, someone brought up uh, t t t something in the den here. Um, we'll get to that after the, uh, well, maybe even now. Uh, but uh, we had a pretty good ride on Red Hat uh, back on May 14th. Uh, got down to 159.62. It's gone up on very little, if any, energy. Uh, back up to this high. The question is, uh, from our first emailer of the day, uh, does this look like... Uh, uh, just look like uh, it got uh, all set up. Um, well, you've got a uh, almost three million share down day being challenged today with a 503,000 share up day on Red Hat. So there certainly isn't a lot of strength going into it. We had uh, 1.5 million shares back on the fifth, um, and it failed within a day or two. Now you've got the rechallenge here. Pretty good company. Um, I'm not exactly sure why. I mean, this thing looked really horrible. Back here at 163, you could see the, it winding up. Um, and it did pay off rather largely. Now we're back up here, and the question is whether or not you pull the trigger again. And uh, I'm going to say that uh, I'm going to wait till tonight and look at the options and see what happened today. And uh, if they did, you probably it will look interesting for tomorrow. Let me put it that way. Uh, just about everything is priced for absolute perfection. And one of the other stocks that we had uh, up here, SYK. Let's take a quick look at that. SYK. Uh, Stryker. Question is, uh, is make, Stryker made a major top. Let's go back a little bit farther on this one. Um Okay, you wanted this thing to break out with about a million and a half shares. You started with about a million shares. Never got above that million and a half share high until you came down with 4.4 million shares. You're back in the trading range, so certainly it is a sell signal. The question is whether or not you would short it. 169.53. Uh, nothing in here about whether or not uh, if you were short, you would um, at what price. Uh, but to get the risk reward, you'd want this thing somewhere around 170 uh, on light volume. And maybe this thing is starting to wind up for an ABC down, but I wouldn't be changing it. Certainly, you have ma massive amounts of energy on this one coming in and blowing back off. So, certainly, if I was long, I'd well be out of this. Uh, if I was thinking, Short on it, I'd need a pop probably to 170, 171. Light volume on there would be a nice ABC on the way back down. That one to one would probably take you to 160 where there's a nice gap from the uh, April 16th gap up on 1 million shares. We'll be back after this. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that 
that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. Tiger TV is an exciting way to experience TFNN programming. See high-definition video, giving you crystal clear charts, as well as seeing some of the faces of TFNN's highly acclaimed financial experts with crisp, full-fidelity sound. Catch Tom O'Brien, John Logan, Steve Rhodes, Basil Chapman, Larry Pesavento, Think or Swim, David White, Eddie Hecht, and Daryl Martin in crystal clear, high-definition audio and video. Tiger TV, exclusively at TFNN.com. Platinum, grains, crude oil, gold, copper, cattle, hogs, gasoline, natural gas, coffee, cotton, cocoa, and sugar. These are just some of the commodities mentioned in the most recent issue of Andy Hecht's Techno Mental Commodity Report. Andy publishes his weekly newsletter every Thursday morning, where he breaks down the commodity market and provides his subscribers with specific trading recommendations based on his trading methodology. By signing up for a free trial to the Technomental Commodity Report, you'll get a full 30 days to try out this powerful newsletter service and see for yourself the types of trades Andy has recommended for his subscribers. When you sign up for a 30-day free trial, you're under no obligation to pay anything. And should you decide to continue, you will lock in the low rate of only $79 a month. Sign up right now for the Techno Mental Commodity Report and make sure you're ready to catch the next big trade in commodities. For more information and to get started today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Dave takes your phone calls now. now. Toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-445-1044. And uh, I had a fairly good discussion earlier today with one of the uh, premier traders in the den. Um, we were talking about uh, patterns and repeat of patterns, uh, but uh, he wanted to bring up uh, Bed Bath and Beyond, and it was actually one of about uh, ten equity charts that I had in the newsletter this morning. So I thought it was kind of interesting that it, he brought it up. Uh, he brought it up for a, another idea, which was uh, a stock we'll talk about here shortly. Uh, but uh, fairly interesting pattern, and one of the things you want to look at in these stocks that are in you know, big gaps. As I said, I love to see these things when they hit about halfway uh, up in uh, an existing gap. They'll come back and finish about half of it. Um, but, uh, you know, you've got basically this uh, level at about 1950. You went through it yesterday. Volume f basically came up a little bit, five and a half million shares. But that's compared to this gap down on about 40 or about 38. 0.5 million shares, and then you've got the light 4.2 million out here with a doji today. So if you had bought this thing uh, down in the $17 area, eh, probably a good chance that it's time to pull the uh, ring the register. I'm not a big fan of shorting stocks below 30 bucks. Uh, it works against you. Now, the reason that we were talking about this is similar patterns with restoration hardware. Uh, and a lot of it was more of a fundamental pattern for restoration hardware. Am I getting it here? There we go. Uh, now, this thing has two big gaps, um, and the, actually it has three gaps. I just wish this one at 80 was a little bit better for a three-gap play. Uh, but, you know, there is uh, a couple of things going on out here today. Uh, if you call up your broker and try to get shares for this, you'll find out that you probably can't get them. Uh, we talked about uh, some of the stunts that uh, manipulator, stock manipulators try 
Um, so I called mine and started talking to him. I just didn't email him. I talked to him uh, and asked him what was going on. And a lot of these shares uh, were uh, being taken out of by the uh, insiders uh, prior to earnings. That would have been nice to know before that. Uh, they've moved them from the margin accounts to non-margin accounts, which means that there was a pretty much a short squeeze already in restoration hardware before it started, uh, along with some fairly high levels of shorting uh, in this stock already. Um, kind of interestingly, hang on a second, let me get this thing up, um, and I will get you the actual numbers. Restoration hardware uh, on the last report uh, was like uh, nine days to cover. Actually, it was 12 days to cover. Uh, but last night, we got the bi-monthly report of shorts. It was still had 10 days to cover uh, and almost the exact same uh, short interest as we were going into um, on the uh, reporting date of the 15th of May. So we got the numbers last night from the 31st of, uh, of May. And this one had, uh, what is that? 6.8 million, is that right? Yeah, 6.8 million shares short, which was 35.7% uh, of the shares. Now, if we go into uh, just the dailies, uh, yesterday when this thing for the last week has had almost 20%, just a little under it, uh, every day of short activity, that doesn't mean they went home with those shorts, but it meant that 20% of all the shares uh, or trades originated uh, came with short positions. So uh, you can figure that some, depending on the stock, five or maybe as high as 8% of those are going to be uh, the option or the uh, market makers for the stock themselves. Uh, the rest are going to be people trying to make money in a day. handful of those people are going to actually hold those short positions. So you don't know really what went on yesterday other than it went up. So you can mostly assume that people wanted to be short the stock going into um, uh, earnings last night. Uh, but that was one of two. Now, the interesting thing is, of course, once you uh, move your uh, shares, if you're a big insider, move your shares at your broker from the margin account to the non-margin account, guess what? Whoever borrowed those shares now has to, co uh, now has to uh, go and... Uh, and uh, return those shares, which means you've got a lot of buyers. A similar setup with another stock today is Play, which is uh, Dave & Buster's Entertainment. Um, seems like if a lot of people get short right into earnings, probably one of the uh, things that you probably don't want to do. You may just be wrong. You may be wrong uh, playing uh, maybe a little bit too much of a gamble instead of intelligent speculation. You got to have, a, I think, a fairly decent case to come in. Now, on Dave and Buster's, it's going right back into this gap down on the 8th of January. This one had almost nine million shares. Uh, you're going to get, uh, you're going to get that today. Almost eight million shares already. So, uh, pretty interesting. You can give me a call at eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Uh, you can email me at path at tfnn.com. And uh, what else can you do? That's kind of interesting. Anyway, uh, S&P 500 is just up a point and a half. Uh, we've hit that area on the cash about 2787 a few times. And uh, there hadn't been any volume to begin with. Uh, it turns to dust about that. So that's about as far up, I think, as they're going to drive this thing before the FOMC meeting. I do like the fact that uh, we do see a lot of these huge gaps up in the market. Uh, this does tend to precede a pullback in the general market or the wider market. You get a lot of people that are, they know it's about time to go short. Uh, and you know, there's kind of a few days ahead. And of course, you probably don't want to go in individual stocks out now uh, into earnings. But you know, there's a lot of stocks, like I said, out here. Uh, we were looking at Red Hat and some of the other ones. I could probably come by and come out with maybe 200 or 250 stocks that are potentially shortable right now. I mean, testing previous size on lighter volume. Um, so, again, I'm fairly bearish out here, probably a bit early. Um, but uh, I'm, 
I think I've said it for a few days or weeks. Um, this is not a call for the next day or so for the most part. I only have one option position uh, for uh, Friday. The rest are all in uh, July's. And that's because uh, when you get tops like this, where everybody is euphoric, as far as I can tell, just about everybody is euphoric. Uh, and very few people I talk to could even conceive of the market pulling back. It uh, doesn't mean that I'm right. What that does mean, though, is if I'm right, I'm going to be right by a X amount and not to uh, be playing for a 5 or 10% move in individual stock, but uh, with options can make uh, a, a ton more than that. And uh, why it may be a flip of a coin, it's not a f what they call a fair coin. Um, I'm looking to make anywhere from 3 to 10 times my money if I'm right. And I will only lose one coin if I am wrong. We'll be back after this. Give me a call 877 Least Resistance, David White's Daily Market Letter, gives you trade recommendations based on David's proprietary power law vector indicator that put the odds of success overwhelmingly in your favor. He'll give you the entry price, price target, and stop price for each stock and option trade. David combines his years of trading experience along with his background in technology and computing to offer his subscribers his take on the markets on a daily basis. Every trading day by 9.30, David publishes his morning issue of the Path of Least Resistance, along with updates sent out throughout the week whenever there is new, actionable trading information. All new subscribers receive a 30-day, no-questions-asked, money-back guarantee. To sign up for David White's daily trading newsletter right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com, and you'll find the Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Has the current market volatility continued to stop you out of trades when the market spikes against you? Now is the perfect time to open up an account with Nadex. Nadex, the North American Derivatives Exchange, is a brand new, completely regulated Chicago-based exchange, and unlike most other exchanges, Nadex allows you to trade directly through them with direct market access when using their completely free trading platform, which also features real-time charts and full customization capability. One of the advantages of trading with Nadex in volatile markets is that your risk is always capped and you have the ability of keeping your trades open even when the market spikes against you. Nadex is completely completely brand new with a line of unique trading products that are unavailable anywhere else. See how it works at nadex.com. That's N-A-D-E-X.com. Or click on the Nadex banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Futures and options trading involves risk and may not be appropriate for all investors. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. And we're back. Uh, S&P is now down one and a half points. Um, Nasdaq's uh, up 20, Dow's down 60. Uh, Russell's uh, still the stronger one, 7.6 million shares. 
So we'll see uh, how this market closes out. Again, not uncommon to see, I'm going to say, five to ten points lower going into the FOMC meeting tomorrow. So we'll see that. Uh, also expect uh, into that, uh, probably see the VIX tick up a little bit. Uh, still not a lot of people thinking that anything bad can happen in this market. And uh, I like to always take the opposite side of the majority. But uh, that's just me. Questions about uh, other things going on in the market. Um, I talked about uh, crude uh, hitting some highs before I left on vacation. Uh, and... I took a stab um, somewhere around here. This gap up, uh, at least on the SCO, gapped up on, what was that, the uh, 25th, went up to 1950. That was the high and then started pulling back. Um, don't really see a great deal going on uh, in this uh, market right now. You've got a little bit of a bounce. I still would love to see this thing, or at least uh, crude in Southwest Texas, come back and retest the 64s with lighter volume before going higher. There's just not that much going on. Take a quick look at the OIH. And again, I know if you're trading in uh, interday, it's not that big a deal um, for these daily time frames, uh, and actually even longer that I look at. But most of the things I talk about they're going to be assuming that you could hold this three or five days or a week, unless I'm talking about options for expiration on Friday. Anyway, you had a nice run in the OIH. It's kind of pulled back uh, off down to 26.45, which is the June 4th low. Uh, you had a little bit of a bounce out here up to 27. This is what I'm kind of talking about. Today in the OIH, you do have kind of a nice pullback, 4.4 million shares uh, into uh, – what was it, about 10.3 million shares yesterday. So we'll have those uh, numbers tomorrow at 10.30 for the EIA, uh, EIEIA, EIEIO. Uh, oil numbers at 10.30 tomorrow. And, of course, uh, we'll have uh, other numbers tonight. But it doesn't seem the market really cares about the numbers. It, it may if you're holding it overnight, but it doesn't seem like those are anything but a distant memory anymore. Maybe someone will call in and tell me differently. But it doesn't seem to me like uh, the numbers tonight may have a little bit of a move, but everybody believes the one tomorrow. Or at least that's what really true uh, tends to do it. Um, okay, what else? Um, question about NVIDIA, NVDA. Um, I'm just seeing lots of exhaustion moves higher in these markets, um, and they're not traditional exhaustion moves. They're just literally there's nobody left to buy and no one wants to sell. Uh, we've got kind of that in uh, NVIDIA. You really wanted to see some blowout volume on the 4th. Uh, you got 16 million shares, which is okay. That kind of just tied previous high back here on March 13th. Uh, so eh, you just kind of gone sideways. This is still one of the strongest stocks in the market, so I'm not a big fan of shorting this thing right here. But uh, I can say that uh, there's a lot of, uh, of uh, risk-reward coming out of the uh, NASDAQ in the semiconductors. This did a fairly nice retracement. Um, gap lower, went sideways yesterday on the SMHs. Today, uh, not much volume as they tried to push it up a little bit higher. Uh, but there's something I don't think that these guys can get away with, and that is that volumes on both uh, major uh, flagship uh, phones uh, from both Samsung and uh, Apple are selling less units. And, yeah, are you going to have something like uh, maybe a NVIDIA or AMD that, kind of makes up some of the slack. I think you can, but just look at the Im immense amount of people and the billions of cell phones sold. Um, there's nobody uh, buying billions of uh, CPUs or GPUs these days. They're buying a lot, and they can have uh, fairly decent margins. Uh, 
but that's kind of, you know, you got about half of the baby there. And unless you're Solomon, I don't know how you split the difference uh, on this baby. I am expecting that the first run in the SMHs come back to about 105. That's this gap up on, eh, what is it, about uh, 3.4 million shares. That's off the 21st of May. Again, you can give me a call at 877-927-6648 or email me at uh, path at TFNN. Uh, question about AAOI from Marie. Doesn't say where she's from. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, is this an ABC down? Um, I don't think so. I think you had a big run here. And that run is uh, got up 49.75. Um, we did buy this, I th well, I forget it was, but 24, 25, and bought the calls on it, and it went sideways forever. A nice pattern out here. Now you've had three days. Um, my guess with the market pulling back is I don't know if I'd want to be short this thing. Um, I'm looking very much at the big sector that's going to run the SMHs next year is going to be these uh, stocks around fiber optic and cables and everything around 5G. That's why this one started to move. It had some good news in that 5G sector. But could this thing still come back down to around 35 bucks? Um, yeah. If you're short this thing, then I'd stay the course down to 35 bucks. Uh, but uh, you're probably going to find me as a thoughtful buyer somewhere around in that low 30 range where this thing did consolidate out from what? Uh, what is that? April 20th to uh, May 29th. So that's it. Question uh, on da, 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 5G rollout, Radio Shack died a few years too early. <laughs> um, no, Radio Shack didn't die too early. It got supplanted by a much better store in Best Buy. Best Buy had the room. Radio Shack had the locations. But they never had anything that was big enough. Uh, the Radio Shack stores were quite tiny. And you may have been able to get an iPhone store in it or a Samsung store in it, but I don't think that you would have gotten uh, both of those in it. So uh, we'll see out. Um, and you can't get, uh, someone says here, you can't get electronic parts at Best Buy. Well, you can't get electronic parts at Radio Shack either because they're closed. So there. Put that in your pipe and smoke it. folks, Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! Today, it's hard to tell if the economy is coming or going. Regardless, I want my money going in the direction I choose. If that's your stance as well, then you want to know how EverBank can help keep your money thriving just the way you want. Is growing your money a priority? EverBank is committed to a yield pledge promise to pay high yields on your checking, money market, and CD balances. 
Looking to diversify? Everbank ingeniously developed accessible ways to spread your money around the world into foreign currencies and even non-FDIC insured metals. And when it comes to your wealth, they bring a highly experienced and global perspective to help you manage it. Everbank's financial philosophy flies in the face of the status quo. They believe your money's performance should not be determined by today's economic circumstances, but by the drive to rise above them and create opportunities that favor your objectives. If that excites you like it does me, call 1-855-750-4051 to find out what they can do for you. That's 1-855-750-4051. Call them today. Everbank. Bank is a member FDIC and equal housing lender. The Taz Profile Scanner Plus, developed by John Logan and his team, is a standalone piece of software that can change the way you trade. Let the Taz Profile Scanner work for you by scanning over 5,000 financial instruments such as stocks, ETFs, commodities, futures, and Forex. Right now, you can get a 30 day free trial to the Taz Profile Scanner Plus right at tfnn.com. And when when you sign up, you gain instant access to John Logan's most recent webinar, How Price, Volume, and Time Make Market Profiles So Unique. This hour-long webinar with John Logan will walk you through the most powerful features of the scanner and how you can use it to become a more successful and profitable trader. You pay absolutely nothing for 30 days while you try out this software risk-free. For more information on the Taz Profile Scanner and to get your 30-day free trial today, visit the the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. And uh, comment uh, that Radio Shack is still open online, but so is Mauser, and they have 15 billion parts. So if you're interested in electronics, just look up Mauser. They're much better and much cheaper. Question uh, about uh, Snap. Let's go to Tom in Austin, Texas. How are you doing today, Tom? Hey, how are you, David? Fantastic. So yeah, what I'm do you think out? out? I, I love listening to your show. I just didn't, was looking at this and wondering whether this rally was short covering or although it seems to be, you know, anyway, just curious to see what your opinion might be. Well, I was in this, couldn't stay in it, went on vacation, closed it. Um, but, I mean, it had a beautiful setup here. But you've gotten everything out of this trade if you're long it from that long consolidation sideways. Let's take a look and see what we have here. Okay. I don't have a lot of shorting in the last two days. So that doesn't mean you have a lot of people to squeeze out of it. There may still be people. Um, it's got six days to, well, I'm going to have to uh, back up on it. It had six days to cover on the last reporting period. That was May 31st. So what is that? Uh, that day right there. So, yeah, you had 25% uh, shorts in it. You haven't had much in the last couple of days. Generally, these things, uh, when people quit shorting, is when these things uh, do quit going higher. And you kind of have that. What are you doing in there? Sounds like you're being ground up by machinery. Oh, no. <laughs> Just on Bluetooth, that's all. Okay. Uh, on the second, it gapped down with 159 uh, million shares. You got 30 million today. You long this already? Well, I actually had a position. I just dumped it, actually. <laughs> yeah. I, I think, as I mean, if you were going for a trade, I tried to get into this thing, and I probably should have given it a couple more days. But going into very light volume into that three-day weekend, I didn't want to hold it. But it was the perfect yeah, setup. Can... If you look at this pattern, let's go ahead and do this, because this is exactly what I love in a lot of these stocks. And I probably should have held it, but if I wasn't going to be here all that, or anywhere close to land on that Friday, one of the three-day weekend, I wanted to be off to the side. 
you get these sideways motions like this, like 10, 15 days, that means that there's somebody that's got a bid right underneath these lows. At the highs, it's distribution. At the bottom, it's a consol uh, it's a accumulation. I love these long sideways moves. Um, when I uh, used to talk a lot to uh, Tim Ord, um, he kind of called it uh, a, a Lazarus, you know, coming back from the dead. But these things will act dead for a while and go kind of sideways. I kind of programmed a thing to look for these, and one of the reasons I really loved Snap out here was this long sideways uh, action. But you got everything that you should out of that trade, so it's beautiful. Yeah, I see you, baby. And and today it filled that gap. There was a gap. It was huge. There right. Was a gap down. Yeah. Um, not very long ago, and it filled the gap. So I don't know where it goes from here. I figured it filled the gap. Take the risk well, off and move on. Wait for it to, I mean, maybe it'll come back yeah. down to the low 13s again. Yeah, I'm thinking about 12 bucks. There's this candle uh -huh. right in here. If you just look at a standard retracement, you'd probably want at least 50%. That takes you to yeah. $12.22. That's uh, between the candle of the 4th and the 5th. Uh, you had uh, 50 million shares one day, 46 million shares the other. 12.22 on light volume of maybe 10, 20 million shares would be kind of interesting. Uh, if we get a really bad retracement out here, 1182 would be the 618 retracement on it. So you want to start putting those yeah. numbers down. Yeah. Okay. And then I had a question about um, URA, it's the uranium uh, ETF holders, whatever. What's it, what's the symbol? URA. So what's the question on this? Uh, just what do you think of the pattern of the stock? It's, um, it seems to go up. It goes down to 12. It goes up to 14. It goes down to 12. It goes up to 14. Well, one of the things that most people don't know is that about for uranium, about three-quarters of 1% is fissionable. So theoretically, you would throw 99.25% of all uranium away because it's not fissionable, at least in power plants. The only uh -huh. real use, I think, for uranium-238 is actually uh, what they call the, the tamper in, in an atomic bomb. And I I don't know if you're getting into that business anytime soon, but <laughs> for uranium, uranium itself, uranium-235 is what you're looking for. And if you're one of these, most of these guys will They'll, they'll uh, basically uh, get 20%, sometimes 8%. depends on what the reactor actually uh, needs. But one of the big things is a lot of these reactors can actually make their own fuel after that. You can reprocess it and get the plutonium out of it, some of these breeder reactors. So a lot of, a lot of people think, well, you just use it all. And on kind of the low end of it, 6 8%, um, Uranium-235 tubes, you can. Um, I'm going to say this is a business that will probably do well for the next five, maybe ten years. But there is so much. In fact, I wrote in the Tech Insider last week about it. There is so much stuff going on with fission. Uh, and once uh, someone shows a fission reactor working well more than ten seconds, um, this business is over. So okay, just so be that, aware. Or helium, I what the deuterium was. Yeah, deuterium. But yeah, and, okay. and of course, of course, like most people don't know that the for the most part the atomic fuel in a in a fission bomb uh, or a, what people call a hydrogen bomb is actually lithium. And almost oh. all the all the new uh, because when you break up lithium, you get your you get your hydrogen and, and uh, deuterium and tritium that you all need to fuse. So they're uh -huh. probably going to be making the walls of these things with lithium. Um, not only good for batteries, but good for uh, uh, fusion reactors. So uh, I think that's going to go away quickly. You should be able to get power out of a, fis uh, a fusion reactor almost so cheap that you can't even, it's not even worth, uh, uh, worth metering. 
Now that's a ways off, but I just wanted to put that out there now that the that the uh, you know what Moore's law is in uh, electronics? Uh, no, not really. Uh, everything uh, gets uh, uh, twice as many transistors or drops half in price every 18 months. Oh yeah, well, yeah, so it's right, exactly, yeah. What they're doing in uh, fusion right now is way beyond Moore's law. So wow. just think about electronics about circa 1970. That business is yeah. really getting down uh, like a train. It's getting down the tracks. Uh, we'll be back after this. Very good. No matter what kind of trader you are, 2018 is a great time to try out a subscription to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. Whether you just plan on diversifying your portfolio with some exposure to gold and gold mining equities, or you're a gold bull that sees 2018 as the year of commodities, now is a great time to sign up for the Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his Gold Report every Monday morning before the market opens and covers a variety of topics including gold, silver, platinum, copper, the X. SAU and HUI, the dollar, bonds, South African Rand, as well as more than 20 of the most actively traded mining equities. Start your 2018 off with a bang and sign up for The Gold Report today. The Gold Report is a long-term newsletter where the focus is on building real wealth through the management of a successful portfolio of gold stocks. For all the details and to start your subscription right now, visit the front page of TFNN.com and you'll find The Gold Report under Investment Newsletters. David White's newsletter, The Technology Insider, is focused like a laser on finding the next big things in technology. If you had invested only $10,000 in Microsoft in 1986, you'd have been a millionaire by 2000. Disruptive technology like Microsoft's is the key to these massive long-term profits, and The Tech Insider is the vehicle from TFNN to capitalize on these opportunities. This is the go-to newsletter that identifies, monitors, and profits on mostly little-known cutting-edge companies with great long-term prospects. David's experience is as an inventor of Emmy-winning animation products for TV and Hollywood that propelled a company public. Match that with 14 years as a full-time trader, and he's uniquely qualified to guide you through the light-speed world of ever-evolving high-tech. If you're ready to ride the next big technology bull market for less than $40 per month, log on to TFNN.com and get your two-week free trial to the Technology Insider. Get in on the ground floor of the next big thing today. I'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, 6, and 3 months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of TFNN.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step-by-step -step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. Catch Tom O'Brien, professional trader and educator, founder of TFNN, also a special guest on CNBC. Tom will bisect and dissect the markets. The Tom O'Brien Show, next on TFNN. Yeah, in fact, I wrote about it on Friday in the Tech Insider that uh, that fusion business, uh, did we have our caller hang on? I don't think we did, did we? I don't think so. Uh, anyway, uh, yeah, fusion is, uh, it's uh, its going down the tracks. We're going to have it. Um, question is, just who is the first rat to the cheese on getting one of these things done? But, uh, uh, you know, a lot of people think, well, you know, you can't make anything that's hotter than the center of the sun. And you can, and we have. There's reactors that uh, are reacting for up to 10 seconds now. And that was back in 1996. Um, we have a few things to work out. They're not small. Uh, but fusion is something that uh, will be coming. 
And uh, the old joke is that uh, fusion is the technology of the future and always will be. Uh, we're probably within five years of having a practical working fusion reactor. Um, in uh, France, they have one that uh, they're uh, spending $16 billion on and still won't be done for another 15 years. My guess is it's never completed. Uh, but new technologies wrote all about that in the Tech Insider on Friday. So, you know, I just, you just kind of want to put that stuff in the back of your mind and know this stuff is coming down the line. But uh, I think, to me, I think a lot of what uh, the Saudis are thinking of is, uh, hey, we probably don't want to be in this oil business too much longer. We want to get out and start selling shares to everybody else because if this technology comes along, um, you know, you'll be able to uh, power a city of 100,000 to something no bigger than the uh, maybe two tractor trailers in the inside. Anyway, we'll see you tomorrow. Same bat channel, same bat time. Remember to sell when you can, not when you have to. Larry Pesavento has just started his brand new service, Fibonacci 24-7, and he's already delivering content to his subscribers on a daily basis when the market's opened and even on weekends. Each Monday, you'll receive Larry's written report that provides detailed commentary and a summary on the charts and videos that Larry sends out. And throughout the week, when warranted, Larry will send out via charts or videos or both the key markets that he is watching during the day. This will be up-to-the-date active trading information that will help help you in your daily trading. In Larry's first week alone, he sent out 25 charts, six videos, and a full report to his subscribers in just one week. If you're a technical trader that uses patterns and retracements to trade, then Larry's service Fibonacci 24-7 is something that you must try. Right now, new subscribers can get a full 30-day money-back guarantee. With nothing to risk, sign up now to Larry Pesavento's Fibonacci 24-7 by visiting the front page of TFNN.com under Trading Newsletters.